So now the last type I want to talk to you guys about is a WAN. W-A-N. And this, remember, stands for Wide Area Network. So let me see if I can draw a really terrible drawing of the United States. See, there's California, you got Texas. Okay, I'm gonna have to start again. Got California, then you got Texas down here, then you know you got Florida, and then I think, you know, something sticks out in New York. There's Maine up there. And then, you know, can't forget about Michigan. Wow, this is probably the worst drawing I have ever done. It looks like a dog with a tumor on its back but <laughs> but anyways we'll just say that this is you know the United States USA and I want to draw this because this of course helps me demonstrate a WAN so what is a WAN well a WAN is made up of multiple MANs so here's a city here's a city you know here's a city they all look the same for some reason I don't know good enough and what is the basically what's the definition of a WAN what's the definition of a wide area network well one of the criteria is it needs to span larger than 30 miles so anything less than 30 miles whenever computers are connected you can call it of course a MAN anything larger would indeed be a WAN a wide area network and another thing is uh, you know a cool way of remembering this is you have your telephone company and the telephone company usually has a bunch of telephone poles connected all across America well these telephones whenever they're connected like this this would be an example of a WAN it's pretty much a network that spans greater than 30 miles so that's probably the most easy or simple um, explanation of a WAN and the biggest and most famous WAN is of course the internet so a WAN, you can remember the internet, and you remember that nothing is bigger than a WAN. It's the biggest computer network you can get, and of course the internet, in case you haven't heard of it before, it's the most famous computer network. And um, the different types of technologies that these MANs use to transfer data to each other to form a WAN is of course satellite, they use satellite in the air, and they also use fiber optic cable. So I'll draw, you know, a nice high-speed fiber optic cable between these. And also they use, you know, old school copper cable, even telephone wires in some of the, you know, the slower areas. But that's basically the very basics of a WAN. It's a wide area network and telephone companies and the internet make up some of the most famous WANs. And also they use pretty much every technology that you can think of. <coughs> oh, sorry, I got kennel cough every technology that you can think of to transfer data and again like I said in the beginning there are many different ways to classify you know hold on let me get a new slider right here a new layer there are many different ways to classify computer networks but probably the easiest is just by size remember LAN one building MAN think of it like a city and a WAN you can think of across an entire nation or across the entire world like the internet. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.